of his style on himself or others. So again, a uh, little bit about uh, there are four different uh, communication styles are there. It is not about just giving about what is the styles is all about. It's more about what are all those styles and what is his style and how it is impacted him or other could be the project speech he will be delivering today. The speech duration is a five to seven minutes timer. All the very best, Rampad. Over to you, uh, TM Modi. Thank you, Satish. Toastmaster Rembert, communication patterns. Communication pattern, Toastmaster Rembert. Yes, stage is yes. Good morning, everyone. Today, I am going to explain four different communication styles people possess. And also, I will explain how to deal or approach people with all these four different styles. Very simple. As per Toastmaster, there are four major communication styles. I will explain characteristics of all uh, these four styles. Please add marks for your style, yourself for each communication style as I explain them. Uh, let's consider total is 100, how much percentage you are made of, made of in each style. Please make a note of it and share in the chat when I ask for it. For example, if you are perfect in all four, then your score will be 25 in each style and the total is 100. Understood, right? Okay, first uh, type is direct. You will see the, fo uh, see the following characteristics in a person uh, you can see him as an impatient when bored you like likes to feel in control and may become frustrated if you become dependent on others you measure progress by achieving and achievements and success at work you display more concern for result than relationship and you will not easily share feelings basically you won't be interested in building net uh, networking you seek just result, result, result. So if you are having the above property, then your style is direct. In simple words, no beating around the bush. Come, come to the point, just right. Ek mar, do tukada. Tukada, sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, next is initiating. Uh, this, this style is uh, sociable, uh, enthusiastic, energetic, spontaneous, and uh, fun-loving. He may be perceived as someone who talks more than listen. He likes to feel accepted and motivated by relationship. He responds strongly to praise and uh, approval. He prefers simulating personal and friendly work environment. If you have the above property, then your style is initiating. In simple words, being a source in the animal, highly motivated by people around you, basically you need people to get the work done. This is initiating type. Third is supportive. This style is calm, steady, approach, approachable, sincere, and gentle. Also, the person dislike changes. They, uh, they may appear indecisive due to next is due to their active listening uh, uh, skills. Others see uh, they them as uh, cooperative, dependent, and loyal. They are often modest and prefer prices. Price to be given privately. Patient and slow paced. They are personal, relaxed, and no, ten no tension environment. They put high priority and close relationship and do not like conflicts. If you have the above property, then your style is supportive. Basically, you like calm environment and very good at listening to others and very supportive to others. Fourth is analytical. This type is precise, exact, analytical, and logical. Basically, the person with this analytical communication style is systematic and task-oriented. He is sometimes perceived as perfectionist. He is organized, self-reliant, purpose, pur purposeful and diplomatic. He is motivated by certainty and will rarely give an option unless asked. He is often private and per with personal information and does not easily express emotion. If you have the above property, then your style is analytical, in short, you like facts, figures, and analytical data in your communication. Okay, now uh, I give the different styles in the uh, chat box. Uh, please uh, check it and uh, mark yourself uh, with your different uh, styles uh, so that we can uh, check it later. Okay, my style is, uh, I will uh, also copy paste that. Okay, my style is uh, 
uh, I'm inclined more towards analytical and uh, direct communication style. Let's say, for example, a simple question to my junior or peer engineer, did it work or is it done? For this, I expect a, I expect a simple answer that should start with a yes or no. Then they can follow with uh, all the reasoning like how it did not work, uh, why, uh, how it was achieved, etc., etc., and uh, other things. Mostly, I am interested in the yes or no part. Rest, I sometimes ignore without listening. So uh, this is direct uh, communication. And uh, I'm also analytical because for a problem, uh, I uh, usually have the algorithm or, or flowchart approach with the proper steps and possible results in each steps. I uh, and also I uh, document a lot. Even if you ask for uh, a work that is done five years back, I will have the information in uh, documented in text, how it is done, what is the approach. This is being analytical. And uh, coming to the initiating part, I do love people around, but uh, I feel it's uh, counterproductive when people are always around. Like having a three to four meeting in a day, I don't like that. I feel it's a waste of time. It's counterproductive. So I marked myself less and supportive. I'm not that great while listening to others' problem. I will improve on this. So now this is regarding my score. Next, we know different types, right? How to deal with people with the different communication style? There are four types, right? How do you deal with them? Okay, for direct, when dealing with uh, these communicators, be specific and avoid over-explaining or repeating yourself. Basically, don't beat around the bush, come straight to the point. Then you can easily win over them. Initiating communicator, initiating communicator, uh, value interaction with others and sad stories. Allow time to socialize at the beginning of the meeting and create a friendly environment. Provide time for them to express their feeling and op opinion. This is how you need to deal with initiating communicator. And the third is communi uh, supportive communicator. Supportive communicator appreciate a calm, steady, and approach approachable uh, uh, approach. Earn their trust by providing them with plenty of reassurance. When seeking their opinion and I uh, ideas, encourage them to express their concern and allow them to time allow them time to make decision. This is how you need to deal with supportive communicators. Fourth is analytical communicator. Analytical communicator likes facts, figures, and steps. Present, present information to them in an organized manner and prepare, prepare to answer questions. Be patient when they think through and process information. Okay, so I hope you all understood all the communication style and uh, how, how to approach people with the different communication style. Please use it in real world and improve your effective communication. Now I request uh, yourself to mark in the chat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rembert. Self-evaluation is the first step of learning. And thanks for your self-evaluation. And Ashok, can you please let us know whether all the speakers were qualified? Yeah, I'll read out the qualified speakers. Uh, the qualified speakers are... Uh, Toastmaster Madhu, uh, Toastmaster Ashok, and Toastmaster Rembert. Uh, I launched the poll now. Uh, 